Today we are going to do spiced beer batter fried chicken. Oh, and this is going to be a spicy one. Three bowls. One bowl for the spicy covering, one bowl for the batter, and the other bowl is where we put the stuff when we get ready to fry. Firstly, we're going to be putting the spices into the flour. We're going to just mix it. Let's just make sure that the spices are all mixed into the flour. And once we've got that, we're then going to get going. Then we get into the beer batter. We're going to have a tin of beer, teaspoon of black pepper, and two eggs. Whisk the batter well. The chicken you can use any pieces, boned, boneless. Before we get going, just make sure that the chicken's a little bit uh, wet and we dip it in. We put it into the batter. We then put it back into there. And what you want to do is you want to just give it a good squeeze while you actually have the chicken in the batter. And what that does, it actually creates the flakiness um, as if that you would have like KFC or whatever other fried chicken. Um, so that's a cool little thing to do. And then we do the next one. A great technique on what you should do is you have your left hand for the dry batter and the right hand for the wet batter. We have an entire chicken breast just to give you an idea if you decide to do an entire chicken breast what that would look like. And there is no difference in the way that you prepare it, right? So you put it in the dry, dip it in the wet, get off some of the wet batter, put it back in the dryer, and we do it again and again and again. When you, when you start this, just make sure that you already put the oil on heat because it's going to take um, a couple of minutes to get the oil up to temperature. And instead of waiting unnecessarily, once you've done all of this, it just makes it a whole lot easier. And again, you can have a look at what the, the chicken looks like. That it gives you that flakiness of the fried chicken, which is going to be delicious. Remember, oil needs to be at 370 degrees Fahrenheit to be ready to fry and I'll show you a couple of quick tips if you don't have a thermometer. The crumbs that we've been working with, take the little piece, right, any size, it doesn't make a difference, and we're going to put it into the oil, and if it splashes and starts cooking up, you know that it's ready for cooking. A few things when it comes to the oil. One, you do not put all the chicken in in one single go because as you add in the chicken it decreases the temperature of the oil so you need to put in a couple of pieces at a time let it cook and when you take it out give it a couple of minutes let the oil come back up to temperature and then you add more stuff to the oil do not do it in one go if the oil is too low it absorbs the the chicken absorbs the oil and it becomes a mishy, gushy mess of oily, disgusting chicken instead of crispy fried chicken where it is coated instead of just flooded. Okay, now we're going to test it and check it that it works. Do a thermometer test. It comes in at 370. Look at that. On the mark. Well, 371 is the mark. What we do with the chicken, 
just put one piece in just let it just stay there for a couple of seconds don't just throw it in and then just put it down and it'll just bubble away and we just keep on trucking cool let's put this monster piece in They are ready to get out the oil. Just gonna put them on a the tray and let's get them out. How beautiful are these looking? We have finished doing all of the frying. Um, as you saw in that pot, this is the total amount of chicken that it has made. Just look how brilliant the crumbing is. Wow. Like, this is incredible. This is truly superb. It looks exactly like typical store purchased crumbed chicken. Just incredible. It's got crunch. The flavor. Wow. This is really, really, really amazing. It is fantastic for a piece of chicken that's been battered, battered and bruised. It's soft, it's tangy, it's got a bite and a crunch, but it is not overpoweringly rock hard. The chicken is soft and moist. This is a absolute keeper. If you guys love fried chicken give this recipe a go it is amazing and with that catch you guys on the next one